Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the fragrances that I have in my collection. Um, I've actually seen a lot of videos um, regarding perfumes and fragrances and stuff this week, which I think is a little weird, but um, I'm glad that everybody's kind of on the bandwagon because I like seeing what other people have in their collection and hearing the descriptions of other things. kind of gives me ideas of um, what to get next in my um, perfume shopping, so to say. So I did go ahead and look up the descriptions of these scents because I'm not very good at describing them and I feel like I would keep using the same words over and over and it was actually kind of fun getting to see what goes into these perfumes and how a lot of what I have um, have a lot of the same uh, ingredients or scents that go into them so without further ado let's get started okay so first off this is where I keep my perfumes and scents at. It's actually on top of the desk that I use um, for my beauty station. You can see um, over here I've just got some palettes up um, in a storage um, thing for like files and stuff. And then in the background over there is um, my Betty White calendar. I haven't found one for um, 2012 so I can't bring myself to bring this down so that's why my calendar still says December. So um, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, the first one, like front and center here, is Vera Wang Preppy Princess, and I love the packaging on this. Pink is one of my favorite colors, and I absolutely love this little crown here that's on top. Um, it just comes off. There's another ring down here, but that fell off somewhere, so I can't find that. Um, so this goes on, and it's just a very, um, very cute package. And the notes or description of this one says. A luscious woody and fruity fragrance. It blends a sense of berry, honeysuckle, woods, um, and woods for eclectic, edgy fragrance. So this one, I, like I said, I just got it for Christmas. I've worn it a couple times and it seems a little bit um, deeper or muskier, so it's something that I would continue to wear in the winter months. I don't know if it would transfer well to summer months, but I really do like the scent of it. And then there is this Jennifer Aniston by Jennifer Aniston perfume. I love the sleek packaging on this. I just think it's so simple and pretty. There's nothing written on the bottle, which I like. It's just very clean and simple. And I actually um, got this because I saw Allison or Amarique's uh, mention it in uh, videos back in November, December, I believe. So I went ahead and kind of looked into getting it, and once I smelled it at Sephora, I knew I had to get it because I absolutely loved it. The description on this one says, Light blooming floral notes set against a sensual base of musk and wood, which I don't think I could come up with a better description for this. Um, this is the scent that I've been wearing every day. It's light enough that um, it can be worn every day, but I also wear it at night too. So I just think it's a good overall scent and um, when I actually bought this the lady at Sephora told me that um, she had heard somebody describe it as um, what you would think a Pacific Beach smells like and since I've never been to a Pacific Beach I'll have to trust um, whoever it was that said that. And then next is this Flora by Gucci. This is probably the third bottle of this I've gotten. I had the really large one first and I used all that up and I've had two of these. So this is just like a really classic um, basically black and white um, packaging which I really like and it's got um, it's more of a heavy scent so it's something that I wear on special occasions or um, when I'm trying to get dressed up or be fancy and the description of this one is a sophisticated floral fragrance. Citrus Accord, Peony, Rose, Osmanthus Flower, and Pink Pepper and Sandalwood um, are what make up this scent. So it, it like I said, it's a very deep um, but still um, bright fragrance, I guess. It's hard to explain, but it's something that I associate with more fancy. And then back here, this one with this huge lid is the Versace Bright Crystal. And I just love that the actual um, fragrance itself is pink. But it has this nice, um, huge lid, which is actually kind of heavy. Um, but I like bling, so I love this packaging. Described as a French, a fresh, sensual, 
This one is described as a fresh, sensual blend of refreshing chilled yuzu and pomegranate mingled with peony, magnolia, lotus flower, warmed with notes of musk and amber. So this one has a little bit of everything in it, it seems. Um, it's a very light fragrance, um, something I wear more in the summer months and the spring as well. So um, overall, I just, I wear that one more um, in the bright months. And then there is this Daisy by Marc Jacobs, which I feel like so many people rave about, and I can see why. I actually got this bottle for my birthday in August, so as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. And I love the packaging on this. I love um, the lids that Marc Jacobs puts on his perfumes. And it's just got these nice plasticky bendable flowers. Um, and even just taking the lid off that, I can smell it smells so good. Um, that is something that, honestly, I'd probably wear any day of the year, but I wear it, or I wore it more um, in the fall since I did get it in August. So the description of that one is wild strawberry, which blooms with a modern vintage edge of velvety violet petals and finishes with gardenia and jasmine, which I feel like I can definitely smell the violet petals in there. Um, I don't get much of the strawberry, but I definitely get the violet petals. It's a very fresh scent. And then hiding back here, which you can't really see, is just a roller ball of the Juicy, C Juicy Couture Viva Le Juicy perfume. Um, I mentioned this in one of my uh, recent videos that it's a very, very sweet. Um, to me, I kind of correlate it with um, a teenage scent or a very young 20s uh, scent. Um, I really have to be in the mood to wear it. And the description of that one is wild berries, juicy mandarin, tempered with honeysuckle, gardenia, and jasmine. And it is, you can definitely smell the berries and the mandarin. It's a very, very sweet, sweet scent. So that's something I look to wear when I'm just going out and having fun and um, definitely more of a summer scent, I would say. Another rollerball I have is this Lola by Marc Jacobs. I bought this probably last March or so, and I still have quite a bit left. This one is um, a pretty strong scent, I would say. You don't need a whole lot to go, um, to really get the scent on you. It lasts, lasts quite a long time. Um, and the description of this one is a floral bouquet of fuchsia and peony. So that one's really simple. Um, that is something that I like about it. It's um, it smells more sugary to me than sweet. It's definitely a sugary scent. Um, but that's just something I like to wear um, like on special occasions. And then in the back here, I've got some body sprays or body mists from different places. Um, I just decided to go ahead and throw these in because um, sometimes you just want like a light splash of um, fragrance instead of something heavy and overpowering. So the first one is this Sheer Love by Victoria's Secret. I got this. Um, from my little in my uh, fraternity here at school um, for Christmas and it actually smells so good. On the bottle it actually says um, white cotton and pink lily which is pretty much exactly what it smells like. It's a very fresh um, scent. The description from Victoria's Secret said fresh white cotton and pink lily infused with aloe vera and chamomile. So I definitely feel like it's not super overpowering it's a very um very calming as the description says it's not bam in your face it's just a very light um, nice scent to wear and then these two here are just bath and body works um coconut scented things which i like to wear in the summer this one is coconut passion fruit which pr pretty much just explains um, exactly what's in it so you can smell like the coconut scent but then it's got a little bit of a fruity accent to it and then there is just this Hawaii coconut, which I obviously use quite a bit of this summer, and it just smells like coconut stuff. Um, I'm a huge sucker for coconut scented things in the summer. I actually don't like the taste of coconut, but I love the scent of it. And then another um, Bath and Body Works one I have is called Secret Wonderland. And I just got this one in a small set because I think they were by three for five dollars or something, three for fifteen. And this one is described as a strawberry, gardenia, um, jasmine, and white amber. This one just reminds me of like Christmas and snow. Um, it is a more sweet, 
and kind of flowery scent. Um, I've worn quite a bit of it as you can tell, but I usually wear that when I'm just like in a quick hurry and just need a quick spritz of something. And then the last thing is this Sexy Little Things Noir by Victoria's Secret. And I actually got this, um, I want to say two years ago for Christmas. Um, so I've had this for quite a while and I've used almost half the bottle. This one is like a playful scent in my mind. It's very light and kind of flirty, I think. The description of this from Victoria's Secret was sparkling nectarine, amber, and catalia orchid. So um, it's just a very fun, flirty fragrance. Um, I don't wear it that often, but it's something that I kind of recently rediscovered. Um, so I decided if I've had it for that long, I might as well go ahead and use it. So. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you've made a fragrance video or fragrance collection video yourself, please link it as a video response below. If you have any questions or maybe suggestions for me for future perfumes to try, please leave it as a comment below and I will um, check them out when I can. So I hope everybody's having a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.